um, including myself. And part of it was just trusting that it was going to work and just knowing that I had the power and the, uh, the community behind me to uh, get me to where I needed to go. So, uh, again, thank you guys, and I just want to thank the community as well. Yeah, you're very welcome. We love to hear yeah. that. Yeah, it's certainly very fulfilling for us to hear that, and um, I mean that's the kind of stuff that we that that we're wanting to to help out with in in doing internet business mastery. But um, you know, you're, you're to be commended for the way that you handled that situation to look at it as an opportunity. And yeah, it's never fun to to lose a job. And you know, I can remember. Um, shortly after September 11th, I mean, I was fortunate not to lose my job because I had enough seniority, but watching a lot of my friends lose their jobs and it was, you know, it was a difficult time. But, um, you know, so, some of those people, I, you know, was able to see them just seize as an opportunity and be like, okay, you know what, this is maybe, this is just giving me the chance to, to maybe see something new by the reins and move forward and maybe something I've always wanted to do and you're forced out of a comfort zone. You know, often that is the time to to reevaluate, and so uh, I think that's very cool that you know to think back to, to how you know you you felt back then, a few months back then, but to see where you are now and and where your decisions have led you, that's just it's just very cool and very motivating to hear about. So, uh, uh, congratulations yeah. on all that. That's Thank you. Cool. I, I appreciate that. There's actually a quote that someone from my uh, from my lead website told me after. I, I mean, I was having an email conversation with him, and I told him I just got laid off, and he messaged me with this and it, this is really what changed me and uh got me really focused he said you better thank your former employer for releasing your ball and chain or uh i think that's what he said just for allowing me to get away from that and do my own thing so i was really appreciative of, of that yeah very yeah cool. definitely with that work lifestyle you can very much get comfortable in just going well i don't really you know like, I want to go do this other thing, but this money makes me comfortable or whatever it is. So, yeah, yeah, that's definitely nice to be thrust into the world of being an entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, so lucky. And I'm, I'm really enjoying my lifestyle now. I've ha- I haven't had one day of stress since being laid off. So. Oh, that's oh. awesome. Well, <laughs> speaking of lifestyle, um, what do you see as your ideal lifestyle? And in what ways uh, is your current business already providing for that? Lack of stress, that's one. <laughs> Lack of stress, definitely. Um, well, I'm actually getting uh, getting married in February, so uh, I, I was actually having this conversation with my fiance about you know where we where we wanted to to do where what we wanted to do where we wanted to be and how we wanted to live, and you know we're we're not looking to live in a huge mansion in Fiji, uh, you know, with five Ferraris and stuff like that. We just want a house with a family and be financially independent. And honestly, the, with the amount I'm making right now, I can do that. I can go get a house right now if I wanted to and, uh, and just live freely uh, from financial s- stresses and uh, just be at home with family. You know, when we have kids and stuff like that, I can do that as well. And, I mean, she doesn't even have to work because uh, the website's doing that well. I mean, I'm also working on other stuff just to, you know, diversify a little bit, but I mean, I could, I could do what I want right now, which is really awesome. Well, the great thing about it, too, is I, I know, obviously, from us talking, uh, some of your plans for the future, but you're doing really well right now with just one little thing, right? Yeah. Like, there's oh, all yeah. these big plans of things I know that you've got to come and what other things you want. So that's the great thing, actually, Jay and I were just talking about uh, this week, is how you know, when we want to raise, we just come up with a new plan, a new product, a new part to a membership site, a new, you know, website or whatever. And, and our, our raise isn't, you know, 6%. It could be $5,000 more a month. Mm -hmm. I mean, which is just crazy. And that's, that's the, the awesome, you know, aspect of this whole internet lifestyle thing. But yeah, I'm so glad that's going on for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm actually in the middle of, uh, creating an audio guide of my ebook and that should uh, i mean it could possibly double my income and then i can have my house even sooner you know uh, <laughs> that's and, and that's amazing in a time where some people are hoping you know to just to maybe get a one percent raise or just to not get a not get fired in their pay <laughs> where here you know in the next month you could launch this new version of your product and potentially double your pay i mean that's just it's just amazing to think about yeah. that phenomenon it's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. 
Well, that's awesome. I know I've uh, gotten really excited just listening to your, your story here. It's always a lot of fun to hear about the success of others and their bold actions and the things that have uh, turned out from that. So uh, thank you very much for spending time to share that with us. And I think definitely the listeners are, are going to get a lot out of this uh, as well. And just uh, you know, keep us in the loop as to, to how things progress for you. We're excited to see where it goes for you from here. So thanks, Patrick. Thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Patrick, for that great interview. And now we're going to dive into the second interview, which is just as good. It's about the same length. And like we said, we wanted to include them both here. Lots of good stuff. This one is with Matt, who's doing some very interesting stuff uh, for the iPhone. And with iPhone apps, you can find his website at app-shop.com. And again, we'll have links in the show notes on the blog for you to go and check out their sites and uh, see what they're doing. So let's dive into the interview here with Matt. All right, so on the phone, we've got Matt here, who's been a member of the Academy for a little while, and he's been, you know, we've been watching what he's been up to for the last while. He, he jumped on a, a very interesting opportunity, a new industry, very relatively new industry, in the uh, provided by the illustrious Apple with the iPhone that came out. Now, uh, this iPhone app industry has become quite the deal, and that's uh, something that he saw as a great opportunity and jumped right into. So that's uh, definitely been very interesting to watch as he's moved along in this, but uh, we're going to talk to him more about that and get a feel for his story and his uh, cubicle escape, so to speak, and and, uh, get a few insights about how he did that. So uh, thanks, Matt, for being willing to share your story with us, and uh, so people don't just have to take our word for it, you know, that's kind of (laughs) nice. Great, well, thank you for having me. Yeah, not a problem. So let's start out by having you give a brief background, uh, you know, on what you what you're doing now, but uh, also what led you into doing internet business and and kind of where you're at right now. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is writing and selling software for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Um, and the reason I started doing that was because about this time last year I started to feel you know really uh, unhappy at work. I was basically a data analyst in Princeton. And I just finished graduate school, not really sure what to do next. Um, I had this idea and this feeling I needed to move on from my job, but I didn't really know what I should do. But then in March, Apple announced that they were opening up the iPhone to developers and that they were going to provide a marketplace for developers to sell their work. So since I was already a really big iPhone fan and I was excited that because, and because I figured I could probably hack my own phone, I uh, got really excited about the whole idea of doing that. But uh, eventually, as uh, after you know, this announcement was in March. But eventually, it occurred to me that I could probably actually start writing software and maybe even selling it. And sort of at that point, a friend of mine actually kind of turned me on really to your podcast. And I started listening, and uh, I really started changing my ideas about working and money. So, you, know, you guys actually were pretty uh, big inspiration on that on that front. Um, but after a few weeks of doing that, I kind of got this idea that uh, you know, not only could I maybe make my own iPhone software, but I figured, you know, feeling maybe a little inspired that I could actually develop an entire company around it and maybe even change you know what I did for a living. So I really just uh, got that idea in my head and started taking a lot of a lot of bold actions. And uh, because of you know basically all of that, you know, after five months or so after that announcement, I was selling my first product. So uh, I was pretty awesome. excited about that. And how long ago was that altogether from when you decided, oh, my gosh, I think I'm going to do this uh, iPhone apps things to now? That is about nine months now, I think, total. It was, uh, it was in March, so I think that would put it about nine months or so. Okay, so you're making money off of your site by selling your iPhone apps. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, it's the iPhone apps themselves uh, that are making money. And, and the site is it's kind of uh, – it's there to, uh, I guess, also drive traffic to, to iTunes, but also to really – the main purpose of my website is to support the, uh, the software products. So what, what – what, uh, is it – are you also teaching people how to make iPhone apps or are you just simply making your own apps and selling them right now? Right now, I'm making my own apps and selling them, although teaching uh, is something I'm thinking of doing at some point. Although right now, you know, since it's only been the third week uh, full-time at this, um, I'm uh, yeah. it's still trying to – I actually kind of went back and forth and, uh, you know, at a period I actually thought about maybe trying to teach another kind of programming. But um, uh, I think after – I'm actually thinking about maybe in a year or so trying to expand things into doing something like that, teaching or – or maybe talking about the iPhone business in particular, or even just a mobile software business in particular. 